Hi, welcome. This is uh, Player Gideon. Um, I'm just on this server. Um, I don't remember the name of the server. It's just a server that holds 50 people. It's an adventure server. I believe it has epic settings on because from what I've played so far the last two days, um, my skills have gained quite fast. So the last time I was working, I was working on flattening out this area right here in front of you by this tent in front of me, not you, uh, by this tent to make a area for a house. I'm probably going to be doing timber frame house because that'll be the easiest one to build for now until I can get mining. So I'm just going to be uh, flattening this dirt here, which is a pain in my patoot. Uh, actually, let me get my window set up there. That's better. Okay, I need my shovel. Excuse me, I've been drinking some pop. I'm going to repair that because the last time I was using it, I used it quite a bit. You want to repair tools quite often. If you don't, they'll break down and that's not good. Oh, I have five dirt on me. Didn't realize that. I'm going to drop that as a pile. I'm trying to flatten out each of these corners. In all six of these squares. I'm going to make a two by three house for now. Nothing extravagant. Just a decent sized house to start with. So I'm doing a lot of... Okay, I need to dig here. This is sloped up three, so I'm going to dig. I'm trying to flatten all the tiles, and it's proving quite difficult. I did have it all flattened. I had three of them flattened out before, but uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't want to get flat again. Everything's flat but that one corner. Oh, let's pack this. That's flat, so let's pack that. that up let's pack that from what I did do from what work I did do I'm pretty close to having this all finito so it shouldn't be too long and I can set up my building plan I'll have to build a mallet though I 
I hope the microphone is not too loud, or the music's not too loud. In fact, I'm going to turn it down just a notch. There we go. Okay, this needs to be packed now. And now we're on the last tile, so the work I did, did really do me good. I've got 5x dirt, and we're going to flatten this tile. Once I get it flat, I'm going to set up my building plan, but first I have to create a mallet real quick, which shouldn't take too long. Now that probably messed up the rest of my area, which I noticed it did. It messed up a whole bunch of my area. Oh man, the last tile. I should have dropped some dirt in the corner before I did that. Okay. Okay, back up. Flatten that. Alright. And the last one to flatten. Hopefully this will work this time. Uh, it needs one fill in the corner, so I'm going to go grab a dirt over here. Earlier I was digging dirt here, and as you can, well, you can't see because the screen's quite bright, but, well, maybe you can see. There is uh, a lot of water that has come into this area from me uh, digging dirt, so I may have to fill that in later. But there's plenty of hilly area behind me to do so. And I have one dirt, which is all I need to flatten that corner. I'm going to stand in the same spot, and I'm going to flatten that right out and pack it. And then I'll put my building plan up. And uh, then it's off to grab some clay. Once I get the clay, I will... start building my house because getting grass is quite easy. Alright, now I'm going to show you what I've just done there. As you can see I have a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and 3, 2 by 3 tiles that are all flat next to my tent and that is where I'm going to put my house. Alright, I don't know where I'm going to put the door or nothing yet but we'll figure that out later. Well, maybe I do. Okay. Let's see. What do I want to start on first? Let's make... Let's see. I think I have a log in this pile here. Yes, I do. And I have some excess dirt. Let's take that log. It's a partial log. And I need my carving knife. And I need to go to crafting window, put the log in, put my carving knife in. Always have your I don't your tool selected when you do this. I'm going to do shaft and I'm going to do two of those and hit create. All right, it created both of them. Oh, no it didn't. It created fishing hooks. Well, we'll need those for later, so we'll just save on those. Say hold on to those. All right. There's one shaft, and let's see if we get another. We'll probably get two that time. Yes, we did. That's okay, because we're going to use shafts. Okay. Now I need my carving knife on one of the shafts. 
and we're gonna make a mallet head and I just need to make one of those and I was successful now I'm gonna select the shaft and right click the mallet head and create mallet and that'll be my hammer tool once it's created yes indeed it is and I'm gonna move that up into there I am going to keep these shafts because they will be useful for making other materials drop them in there drop the fishing hook in there and um, we're going to hold on to the wood scraps and we're going to drop the log back in there alright now now I have my mallet now I'm going to do building plan now I may not be able to build the full six just yet I don't know I haven't checked my skill yet but I may be able to if I can which I can I'm gonna solidify the building plan finalize building plan and that's bingo that's my building plan and as you can see that's what my house will be right there it's gonna be all right there okay and once I get that built, I can pick up my tent. Or I can leave my tent to hitch an animal until I don't need it anymore. Until I have a fenced in area. Okay. Now, the next objective is to get some clay. So I am going to drop my wood scraps and my kindling. I'm going to drop all excess materials. I'm going to drop that in there. I'm going to eat this pumpkin so I have food. I'm going to grab a drink because I'm going to need to be fed. And I'm going to need to have water, hydration to make sure I can do the trip the best I can. Okay. Let's eat that pumpkin a little more if I can. And I think it says I'm full. Yep, I'm full. We'll drink. And I'm going to take the pumpkin with me because that's not too much weight. Now I know there's some uh, clay down this way. So I'm going to head this way. Now I'm going to try not to dig too much clay. Be until I can make, I'll have to make multiple trips. But um, that's just how it's going to have to be until I have actual... Actually, I wonder if I need... Let's see here. I'm going to go to the crafting window. We're going to put in small cart. We're going to check that out. We're going to see what we need for that. You know what? I don't think I need anything but wood to make a small cart. So I'm going to make a small cart and I'm going to use that as the way to drag my clay. It'll be slow and rough, but it'll give me a lot of materials. So, that'll be my first thing I'm going to build next. So, then we'll go grab clay. Grass is in abundance, and I have wood beams all over the place that I created earlier. So, I can use those at any time. So, let's find that light. Okay, I'm going to use this walnut log. Now, right now, I'm not caring about what type of wood I'm using or anything because I'm just starting and eventually I want oak for tools, um, cedar for carts and box storage bins and food storage bins is housing materials because cedar lasts the longest, oak's the strongest, those type of things, but, um, for now, I'm just building with what I have, and later I'll deal with what I have to deal with. Okay, let's see. Now, back to what I was doing. I was going to build a cart. So, I need, actually, I have some shafts already made and some planks made. Oh, I just took some stuff. I didn't want to do that, but that's okay. We'll throw that back in, throw that back in, we'll keep that, throw that back in. Let's take all the planks, let's take all the shafts, 
and we'll leave it at that for now. And we're going to take a shaft and connect it to a plank. Small wheel. Bingo, I created a small wheel. Now, now I'm going to open my crafting window and I'm going to throw the small wheel in there. I need a plank, two planks, and a shaft to finish it. Double click my shaft, continue, or drag it. I'll drag and drop. It'll be easier. Oh, that didn't take, did it? Let's do three so it'll work. This may take me a minute because I have very low carpentry skills at the moment, so building this is going to be a little bit taxing, but it's going to be very beneficial. Then I think I'll give uh, permissions to my brother's character so he can use the cart as well. Alright, now I have a small wheel. Boom. Let's move that. Clear that. Okay. Uh, let's look at that small card again. Small wheel and a plank. Okay. Actually. Small wheel axle and a plank. Okay. So let's add a shaft to this. We'll make a small wheel axle. Bingo. Now we're going to make another wheel, which we have perfect amount of materials to make this. And the unfinished, we'll take that and we'll take a shaft and we'll continue. Oh, actually, now it wants a... Oh, I created two of them here. What did I do? What happened to my small wheel? Oh, I think I created two. I'll have to create another small wheel, I think. That's okay, I'll make two cards. Okay, we'll put this here. And we'll make a small wheel. Okay. That's a small wheel axle. And, oh, I see what I did. Okay, so that's what I did. So I'll make one extra cart just if I have enough materials just for my brother because he'll need one. He's using a character name we used in Ashron's Call. His name is Derek Craig. He played on the Soul Claim server. I was Magus Craig. I played on the Soul Claim server. And my father was Shadow Craig, and we, he played on the Soul Claim server. We originally started on Leaf Cold, but that's another story. But that was a that was a fun game, and he's using the same name. I use the name sometimes too, but I've started using Gideon for this game. So, okay, now we need one shaft, and that should finish our wheel. Alright, our wheel is finished. Now we're going to take that. We're going to add the small wheel. And we're going to continue that. And we got a small axle wheel. Now, we're going to add a plank. And small cart. I have 70% chance to make it. And bingo, we got it. I'm going to close that window for now. I'm going to check on the small cart. And see what materials I need. Okay, so I do need two small nails for the cart. I did not know this. So, um, if my digging skills enough, I might look for iron. Because that would be more beneficial. Or I could just make the long trips. I'll make the long trips for now. I know I have iron. But I don't think I have enough to make an anvil and small nails. But we're going to see if we do. As you can see, that's what the small cart looks like. Alright, let's see. Too bad the small cart didn't need nails. If it didn't need nails, then uh, 
I'd be in a whole new level of ship shipping stuff around, and that would be good. Dropping all this excess stuff in here that I don't need. Uh, we'll drop the kin one. No, we'll keep the kin one. I want a fire. Oh, wait. You know what? I do want some material to burn. So let's see here. Let's see. Actually, I think I have. Let's come over here. I know I have some more stuff here. Wood scraps. 23. Let's take that. And then we're going to use a carving knife and we're going to carve some kindling. Actually, I'm going to open this up and do this. And do my carving knife. And I'm going to make kindling like crazy. There we go. Get a few kindlings going. There we go. Eight kindlings. Now, now I'm gonna open this back up and drop that in there. Oh boy, my brother made kindling. I forgot about that. He made a lot of kindling. No. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Let's start a fire here. I'm going to pick up this ash where I had a fire before. There's my little pig. I found that right off the bat. There's another one over there, you can see. And he's right over there. Or she. Those are both she's. And I know of one more pig in the area. I'm going to go back maybe here in a minute and check on and see, see what's up with it. Because if I can have it if it's a he then I want to get a hold of it because I can breed these pigs which will give us meat flint and steel boom create the fire now we're going to see how much this lump does. That's going to take a while to burn and get to the point where it is usable to make into an anvil. And I don't think I'm going to have enough to make an anvil and two small nails, but we're going to try. Something else I could do. You know what? Let's see here. Uh, open up. I'm gonna see. I haven't done this in a little bit, but I want to make something out of this cotton. I know I need to make a spindle, which could be useful to make rope. Oh no, no spindles to just make fishing line and out, and that's it. Uh, a rope tool makes the rope. I forgot about that. Now I know I need a shaft. I'll take a shaft, and I know I need a plank. And I have some planks over here I already made, so I'm gonna come grab one of those. I'm gonna grab that one. Actually, I want this one because that one is lower quality and I don't need to use that for such a thing. I don't need to use that high quality for such a tool. Okay. Double click that and then create tool. Rope tool, no. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing here. How do I make a spindle? Hmm. You know 
want. It's been a little bit since I made a spindle. I'm trying to think what it's. Hmm. Let's see if I can figure this out real quick here. I guess we're not going to make a fishing rod. While we were waiting for the fire to burn up. That's okay. Actually, I mean, the lumps of ore to be glowing red hot. Which they probably are kind of close. They are close. Okay. We'll take all those. We're going to combine those. Combine. And then we're going to get our mallet. We're going to go create ammo and see if we have enough. Oh, here we go. Come on, success. No, we didn't have success. Now we might not have enough. Come on, success. Come on. Yes, I created a small ammo. Now, we're going to double click that and do this. We're going to see here. We want to do the small nails. We only need two. If we're successful twice, we're good to go. And I have enough, I can make two carts, which is perfect. Uh, let's see. Uh, small nails. Almost. Dang, it didn't work. I'll only be able to do one. Had to have a 100% chance, and I didn't. I can make three nails, but I can't make a fourth one. That's too bad. That's too bad. I could have made two cards. One for me and one for my brother. That's okay. So I can make one card at least. Which is perfect. And there we go. And we're going to repair that. Now we can do what we were doing. That didn't take that long. I thought it would take longer. But I normally burn 18 lumps of rock iron in there to make them into or rock iron raw iron into lumps I burn raw iron 18 to make lumps okay let's add these screws to this too far away for that okay get closer so now we can build our house which is perfect okay now I need a shaft and five planks so let's see here let's see if I can click that box which I can I need I only have one plank there and I need one shaft of good quality we'll take that I should find some cedar. I should go search for some cedar and make a plank out of cedar. Because the last item you put in is what it, the item is. So let's take those. What's that give me? Let's see. Is there any cedar trees around? Is that a cedar tree? No, it's not. Right there is a cedar tree. Perfect. We're going to do that. Because I want a good quality card. Alright. Okay. We are going to drop these materials. No, we're not. We're going to use them first. 
Alright, let's put the shaft in. Continue. Oh, gotta be close. Too far away, too far away. Alright, let's put these in. We're gonna queue those up. Okay. Queue those up again. Now I'm gonna make a shaft out of cedar wood and la and that'll be the last added item. Okay, I need my where is it? My hatchet. Ooh, that is a big cedar. That's gonna get some wood. Let's look in there. That is some good quality wood. 50 is the quality on some of that. I'll take the I'll take the one of the higher quality ones. I'll take just one of those for now. I'm gonna leave that cedar. Holy crap, a gorilla. That scared me. <laughs> I'm glad he's not aggro. I would have been in deep doo-doo. Alright, let's see here. I need my little carving knife. And we are going to create a shaft. Created a shaft. Now we're going to put this cedar log right here. Wood scrap right there. I'm going to leave the small nail anvil and everything in my tent for when I do have more iron to utilize. Oh, I'm going to put that cotton back, I think. I don't need that right now. Alright, let's finish this cart and get on with the building. Get close. And we're about to finish this. Bingo, small cart finished. And that's what a small cart looks like. And it's gonna be here. Is it gonna let me do it? Drag. Okay. I'm dragging the cart. Now this will take me a little bit, but it's a lot better because I can carry a lot more. I'm, I can't remember the capacity, but we'll see about the capacity with clay. How many clay I can put on it. I think the clay is quite close to if I remember properly. <laughs> Excuse me. Out of the drinkage, gonna have to get some drinkage soon. for spiders and stuff so I'm looking around here the clay is a little bit of a trek from where we were at if I remember correctly, but it shouldn't take me too long to get to it. A few, a few minutes or so, I would believe. It was right on this path this way.
Now, if I were to have built a large cart, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to do much with it because I don't have any animals, like horses or bison or um, bulls to pull it. So, this cart is actually the small cart is actually the best way to do it at the start if you don't have animals already and you don't have access to mining materials. So. As you can see, my stamina is draining quite a bit, but there is the clay, so we've made it. Ooh, I slipped down the... Alright. We're gonna get right in the middle. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just telling me about my stamina. I thought it was something telling me uh, something else. Alright, and then we're going to stop dragging the cart. We're going to open the cart. Set that over here. We're going to repair all my tools. And then we're going to select the shovel. Actually, I'm going to put the shovel and the hatchet on my toolbar. That way I can quick pick those. And we're going to dig. And I should be able to dig quite a bit of clay. I think it's something like 25 clay and 25 grass per wall, plus 3 or 5 wood beams, I can't remember what per wall so for the uh, frame timbered house so that's definitely what I'm aiming for in terms of uh, building is gathering at least that amount but I think I can get quite m much more than that so hopefully I can do two trips and be able to fill out my house maybe one if I'm lucky but we'll see It all depends on how much I can carry. And actually dragging this cart will uh, make my uh, strength go up, I believe. Or what? Or is it body, con what is it, it's body something. Body strength, body strength. It'll make my body strength go up, my stamina go up, and all that kind of stuff. And so will digging and such, and mining, and stuff like that. You, you really, this game is so intricate, and it, it's a wonderful game. I enjoy it very much. And the facets of this game keep me playing a lot. I may make a video on my uh, offline server that I play or my LAN server. I have quite a bit going on that and uh, that might be something I want to do at a later time just to show you some other stuff on that server. My brother just got the game uh, yesterday and I'm hoping to get him over to my house. I'm purchasing another computer to add to my LAN, uh, my network, and he can play on my LAN, and then we uh, can have uh, a little uh, spot of our own right here in my house, and uh, do the do and get uh, worm going on my offline server, my LAN server, so that'll be fun. Okay, I'm up to 39 play, which is a good amount, but I'm going to keep going and see how much I can actually get.
I just want to see how much I can hold in terms of weight. I should have dropped some of the kindling. That'll be 10 pounds I could have had off of me, but that's okay. Okay, 47 clay. That's not bad. And I put that in the cart. I believe I can hold 100 in the cart. So, I can actually hold quite a bit and walk very slow, or I can go moderate speed. Because if I pack the cart and I pack my person, then I can carry more. But I think if I do that, I will go very slow, so I'm probably not going to pack my person too much. But I will pack my cart fully. So, if I do the math, let's see here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 sides. 2 by 6 has 10 sides. So 10 times 25. So I'm going to need a lot of clay. 250 clay. So that is probably 3 trips that I'm going to have to make. Also, uh, being fed and being wa having water in your system or being hydrated affects how fast you do a skill action, and it affects how how quickly you um, can get the job done in uh, in multiple quitted digs or quitted whatever you get it going for whatever you quit it for and uh like it whether you quit for uh sawing planks or whatever the more you're fed and the more you're hydrated the easier it is to do the action and the faster so might want to repair my shovel now Okay, now my uh, stamina is getting quite low by the green bar here, so I'm going to let that get a little stacked up. There we go, now it's good. Almost to 47, so I'm getting there. I have 43. Alright, six more. And I think that's all I can dig. I'm going to dig a seventh one. Just to make sure that's all I can put in the cart. And that's all I can put in the cart. That's what I thought. So I can hold a hundred items in this cart. So that's good. We're going to drag that. And we're going to get going here. We're going to back up here. Out of this pit. And turn around. Oh, I don't want to drag that. As you can see, I'm moving quite.
decent speed and I'm dragging a hundred instead of carrying 47 and walking as slow as possible because if I had 47 on my personage I would be overweight and I would be walking so slow it wouldn't even be funny. So the cart is a very useful tool. I'm going to close my inventory just so you can see the scenery and look. My digging skill is 35 now, so I can uh, start that mine soon if I want to, too. But I think I'll wait till after I get the house built. That way I can uh, make storage bins and put them in the house and all that good stuff. I'm always checking my food and water situation because it's so important to keep that up. Alright, I can see my little uh, area in the distance, so I'm about right on course. I'm right on course, but I'm right about there. So. It'll be more visible once everything's built. Missing walls. <laughs> Gideon's tent. Oh no, it says cotton tent. Used to say something on it. Maybe not. When you ID it, it says something on it. stamina. I wondered why I was so slow. This reminds me of when I first started playing Worm back when it was released. The first time you could purchase it. unload this clay I'm gonna unload it right here we're gonna click the cart stop dragging open the cart what I'll do is I'll take five take well I'll take whatever I can take oh I can take 53 oh for some reason I didn't think I could hold that much okay then I'm gonna drop this on the ground then what I'll do is I'll open that pile up and just drop and drag. So now I have a pile of clay right there. Now I'm going to drag this cart and I am going to go grab up all the materials I need to build this wall. Okay, we're going to Okay. We're going to move that over. We're going to put all the wood beams I can find in there. Hey Buford, stop your barking boy. I think that's logs. So settle down boy. Settle down boy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can take twelve of them. You need a good party? Go potty. I'll take you potty in a minute, boy. Just let me finish one wall, and then we'll stop this video. Yeah, boy, I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. 
Okay. Now we're gonna take some of these out of here, and then we'll drop those on the ground. Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay, I see. See, this is what happens when you're moving in cover. You move very slow. Okay, there we go. Now we drop those. Now what else did I need? I needed grass, so I'm going to get my carving knife, and I'm going to get some grass. I'm going to get 25 grass, that way I can do one whole wall, and I'll show you one wall, and then I'll uh, continue this later, or maybe show you what my house looks like when I finish it at a later date, because my dog needs to go to the restroom. He is sitting right by me waiting patiently so I'm gonna finish one wall which will take a few minutes or so and then we'll uh, see you uh, see you later and uh, if you like this video if you thought it was uh, good or if you have comments uh, go ahead and leave a comment if you uh, want to see more videos or what to do or just something you may need yes Buford give me a moment buddy Okay, now I got 30 grass. Yes, buddy, I hear you. Just give me a moment here, bud. I'll get you. Open up. Let's take... No, let's take that many. Take that many. I mean, it's at 21, so we're going to take four more. All right. Now we're going to take whatever we can there. Now we're going to get our mallet out. So now I have a beam, mixed grass and clay in my here. Build timber frame and I'm just going to build a wall, a timber frame wall. And then I click that. Now I'm going to click the frame and I'm going to hit continue. And because I have everything in my inventory it will be easy to just click continue. Okay, I need some beams, so I'll take some more beams. Hit continue. And this will show you what it looks like once I finish it up. And it won't take very much longer to build this. Alright, we're just going through all the motions getting this done. This is going to take a little bit of clicking to do because there's so many materials to add. But this is the easiest building to build at the start because it requires very least amount of nails. You will need small nails for the floor and some small nails for the roof. But you can build the walls without nails. It's almost finished, Buford. Just give me a couple here. Yes, I know, I know. You need to go potty, buddy. I'm not stupid. Bingo. And there is a frame timbered wall. I'm going to back up and look at it right there. And that's what it looks like, right like that. And that once my house is built, I'll make a new video. So, uh, you gents and ladies, have a nice night or day wherever you're at afternoon and good evening bye